I'm a chicken fried A cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And a red Hey, welcome to Durf's place I'm Durf uh, Been a while, ah, it's summertime You know, it's hard to stay in uh, Especially editing I, I still have the ribs to edit They're common Actually, you'll get them before this one Anyways, uh, today I thought I'd take an opportunity. It's hot outside. It's stifling hot outside. Uh, take the opportunity to make chicken wings inside in the oven. Uh, they're delicious. They're crispy on the outside, uh, juicy on the inside. Um, and I'm going to throw a sauce on them. Um, so I picked up eh, probably two, three pounds of wings and uh, I'm going to do them. Uh, and uh, easy. Really easy to do. My grandson and I did it uh, two weeks ago. Loved it. He wrote it down on his, uh, in his uh, recipe book. And he's got it there. Uh, he's become a great little cook. So, hey, it's nice to see. Anyways, shout out to Liam. And, hey, let's make some chicken wings. Okay, first we're going to prep our chicken wings. And all we're going to do is take our chicken wings, put them in paper towel, and squeeze them. Squeeze them tight. Squeeze them tight, and they'll come out. They're dry. They'll, you'll feel how dry they are. And the blood and the juices will stick to the thing. Don't be afraid to change this. I do like, I don't know. You, you do, do them until the, the paper gets um, really saturated and... The chicken wings aren't going to get dried out. They will stick when you're squeezing them. And I mean squeeze them. Take it like this and squeeze the suckers. Don't be afraid to hurt them. Okay? Um, and get them all nice and dry. You want them dry. Okay? Because you'll see in a sec why. Um, but you don't want them. You don't want any juice. You want to get that moisture off those chicken wings. Uh, especially the outsides of them. So uh, I'll continue. I'll finish this. And we'll be back. Okay, well we got our chicken wings all dried out and they're in a bowl. Now what we're going to do is, I got a, uh, oh, about a tablespoon of baking powder, okay. Uh, I'm just going to break it up a little bit here so it's not really lumpy, but when I mix everything else in, fine. So that's a, that's a tablespoon of garlic powder, or baking powder, okay. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. About a eh, half a teaspoon of salt, and then a pinch of pepper, and eh, pinch, there, there's a pinch. Okay, so what you're going to do now is just going to whisk this up and try to get the lumps out of it. Hold on, I'm going to get a fork. I think that'll work better. Okay, so I got a fork here. And all I want to do is just mix all this together and try to get, if, if it is a little lumpy, like I got a few lumps here. It's not going to kill anybody, but try to get it mixed up like so. Okay, just like that. Now I've got about four pounds of wings here. And this mixture here is a good enough for four pounds, okay? So, what we're going to do is bring our wings here. And I'm just going to take, and I'm going to put just a coating over the top. I'm not going to use it all, as you see. And then I'm going to mix that in. Just mix them around. Okay, and then take it again. What you're trying for is to try to get them evenly coated. So just keep on mixing them in. It's not rocket science. Again, just gonna, just wanna put a little coat on and just take your time getting them coated. You want every one of them to ha be happy and ready. So, there we go. As you see, it's, they're getting coated. They're, you can feel it on them. And they're dry if, because you dried them. So this is why you want them dry. is Because that baking powder is going to dry them out even more. Okay. And, 
as you see, it's it didn't look like a lot, but once you do it this way, I mean, if you did it the other way and just dumped everything in together, then yeah, you're not going to have enough, right? But doing it this way, they all got a nice covering on them. They're all happy. They're there. Just go up. One got away. There we go. Okay. Now we got to put them on a rack and we're ready for the oven. Okay, we've taken two cookie sheets, covered them with aluminum foil, and then taken our racks, and all I did was spray them down with some canola oil. Okay, so they're not going to stick. So all we're going to do now is place these wings. Bang, 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 bang. You want a little space between them, um, you know, blah, 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 both there. Okay, and... Put them all together, get them out here because I don't want to have more than two racks, so we'll fix this up here. So, okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay all these chicken wings out like so, and we're going to put them in the oven at 450 for a half an hour. You don't have to look at them, just leave them in there to get happy for about a half an hour. And then we'll uh, turn them over and cook them for roughly another half an hour. And uh, we'll pull them out and they'll be ready to coat with some sauce. So, and they'll be, oh, crispy. I'm telling you, I'm so happy with this recipe. And you know what, you could do this on the barbecue. Uh, set your barbecue for, you know, get her up to about 450. And uh, throw the wings on. For half an hour, it you know what it's it's not the uh, it's not the the cooking whatever cooking you use you can do a smoker you can do it in the oven, uh, uh, many ways right, adapt to the recipe you know like you don't have to have put it in an oven you don't have to have a barbecue you don't have a smoker, that's why most of my shows I'm not showing you smoking because a lot of you don't have smokers some of you do and uh, eh, I'm gonna touch on them. Uh, we're going to do some cheese uh, in the fall when it gets a little cooler. And uh, I'm going to do a prime rib out there because I like to do a big prime rib and cut it down. And uh, yeah, but you know what? Most of the recipes I do, they're good to go on anything. Like in the, in the oven or out in the barbecue, your smoker. So, okay. So, look at I've got all my wings now all arranged. Um, like so. There's four pounds of wigs, folks. Okay, we're going to stick in these in the oven, and we'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm going to make a little sauce. I've got one already made, um, which is a lemon, a lemon sauce. Um, I'll put that in the, um, I'll put that recipe at the end of this video. Um, and I'll also put this one. Um, actually, today I'm going to do three different types of wings. I'm gonna do this one here, which is a sweet um, Frank sauce. Um, I'm gonna do this one. And then the one that I've got already made is a lemon with the Frank's uh, hot sauce. And then I'm gonna do one with a new sprinkle salt that I see. And I found it at Denninger's and it tastes excellent, okay? It's a Crazy Jane, or Jane's Crazy Mixed Up Seasoning. It's a lemon pepper. Um, you can get it at Denninger's. Um, yay, tastes really good. So we're gonna try some of those on the wings too. Hey, you know what? Things aren't always just uh, black and white. You can change things up all the time. So, so what I got here is I got two tablespoons of butter and I've got a quarter, I'm only doing a half a batch here. Um, so I'm using a quarter uh, cup of Frank's hot sauce. Just stir that in. Just like this. Da, 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 da. Okay, so once you get that stirred in, then you're gonna take and you're gonna put in, I'm gonna put in a heaping tablespoon of honey in that. Um, 
out of the you could use brown sugar you could use white sugar uh, I prefer to keep it uh, especially with me with my diabetes I, I have to watch myself so uh, I'll go with for the natural honey of the uh, of this natural sugar of the honey and mix that in there like that I'm just gonna heat that up you don't want to bring it to a boil or anything just heat it up mix it up and uh, there you go there's there's a nice uh, there's a nice uh, sauce for the wings. I'll uh, dunk some of the wings in this, and uh, there we go. Okay, we shall be back. Bye -bye. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Wow! Oh, I can't see. I'm blinded. Okay, and we're gonna pull these out like so. There. And another one, like so. As you can see, they're starting to brown up really nice. So what I'm going to do now, and you can do this if you want, or you can not do it. I like doing it. I take a little corn flour, and just take that corn flour, and just put a little dusting of corn flour on them. That'll... Uh, Add a little bit of crunchiness, a little more crunchiness to them. So, there's that one, as you can see. And all I'm going to do now is, once I put this corn flour on, I'm going to turn them over, throw a little corn flour on the other side, and throw them back in the oven for another 30 minutes. So, okay. So, as you can see, because you grease the pan, you don't have to worry about it. You don't stick as bad, right? And all you're gonna do is, I'm gonna go from the back side, it's easier. Work, work to the front. So all you're gonna do is turn these all over. I'm gonna coat them with the corn flour again. And uh, yeah, we're golden. So uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes, or in 30 minutes. Bye-bye. Okay. Look at these beauties. I mean, if you can't get excited about these, what can you get excited about, right? So, they're done beautifully, right? We're going to throw some in a bowl, right? They're nice and crispy. Just going to take a bunch of these. And there you are. You can hear when they hit each other. They're just slapping each other, right? So, we're going to do some with just that spice that I showed you. Just for shits and giggles, right? So, all I'm gonna do is take this spice, if I can open it with one hand. There, I'm gonna throw a bunch of this spice on. This is the lemon pepper that I showed you. And just gonna Throw a little more on. Oh yeah. Okay, so they're done. Now we can throw those on a plate. Like so. Hey, there's a meal right there. Okay, I'm not gonna bother taking that spice out of there. I'm just gonna put some more in, in this bowl. And uh, Throw these in, and we're going to put some sauce on these this time. Now, you see the restaurants, and they I know what they do. They bread them. You don't want breading. It's, you know, they're bad enough for you as they are. But, okay, so, I'm just going to put those there. going to put a, more, a few more in here like this. And what I like to do is, I'll cover these with sauce. I'm not going to drench them. They're not going to be swimming. Um... I'm just going to get them a little happy, a little bit of sauce. This is the one that we made, which is the honey, frank sauce, and butter. And just I'm just going to over top of them like this. And then I'm just going to stir them around so they're coated, right? You don't have to have them drowning in it, right? And then you can always, I mean, yeah, there's people that like a lot of sauce. My son, Lee, 
He loves his wings drenching like they've got bathing suits on and snorkels, for Christ's sake. But, you know what? It's all you prefer, what, what you prefer. So, there they are. And I'm just going to throw those on a plate. Like so. Now, because I got the same sauce, but with lemon in it, it's not going to hurt them to throw them in here. Same dish. And we'll toast these ones with the lemon one. So really what you've done with cooking them like this, and, and what you do is the extra sauce that you got, put it in a bowl. Let them dip it if they want, or if they want to, you know, like do it that way. So this is the butter and the lemon with the Frank sauce. It's really, uh, it's really good. So same thing again. We're just gonna over top of them, throw them around like so until they're all nice and covered and happy, right? And you'll see when they're hot like this, they'll dry out a little bit. So you get like a, like a. Oh, it's beautiful flavor, right? Okay, so we'll plate these ones. There we go. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, here they are. Three types of wings, right? Um, and if you look at them and they're... Okay, the meat's just perfect. Mmm. That's the honey. And the French sauce, mm. excellent, excellent. Here's the ones with the, with just the spice that we put on them. Oh, it's like roast chicken with <clears throat> some pepper and lemon on it. <coughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, these are the hot sauce with the lemon. Mm. Again. You can't go wrong with any three of them. Try it. Make your own sauce. Do your own thing. But try it. Excellent recipe. Hey, till next time, eat well, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. See the love in my woman's eyes. Feel the touch of my precious child. And no mother's love.